Tonight, the calm before two storms at several local cannabis dispensaries. There's Black Friday and what's known as Green Wednesday. Acres Cannabis General Manager Nick Sanchez says, financially speaking, it's a big day for business. It's going to be a rival for 420. At the dispensary, the source this week. The total is going to be Marketing director Matthew Jans says they've gotten busier by the day. We've seen an uptick in business already. We definitely have had a lot more volume in the past couple days. Tomorrow, actually, believe it or not, is a day that rivals 420 for our industry. According to the company Headset, which tracks data related to the cannabis industry, compared to the Wednesday two weeks before Thanksgiving, Green Wednesday sales in Nevada, Washington, Colorado, and California were up more than 50% last year. On Black Friday, up more than 20%. The sales were really good last year, but we anticipate things being better this year. I think that as we continue to reduce the stigma and normalize cannabis, that we'll see this trend actually continuing to grow because more and more people will see it as that functional component to their holiday season. Naturally, both spots are rolling out holiday deals, but why the demand this week? Well, Jans has a theory for that. Some people are dealing with a lot of stress, whether it's coming to dinner preparation, having family and friends in town, and other people are, are turning to uh, cannabis as a form of celebration. Over at Acres Cannabis, they plan on getting in the Black Friday spirit as well by opening up the shop at midnight after Thanksgiving. Meantime, here at the source, if people are going to come by and buy products here this weekend, the folks are saying bring some canned goods because they're actually going to be donating them in a drive that will benefit the Las Vegas rescue mission. They did that, they say, in anticipation of a big week full of customers. Reporting live tonight, Max Darrow, News 3. My, how family gatherings have changed. <laughs> Max, thank you for that. Coming